In this video, we're going to have a look at the Smart Strings instrument. So let's hit the plus button on the bottom left hand corner to create a new track. And from the loadouts here, we're going to select under the strings menu, the Smart Strings. And you'll notice that this graphical user interface looks quite similar to some of the other Smart Instruments. And we can play these chords. This is actually a string section. Up the top is the higher end of the register. Down the bottom is the lower end. And we can alter which stringed instruments we have by hitting the Smart Controls. And you'll notice at the moment we've got first violins, second violins, violas, cellos, and basses, we can deselect or select them by clicking on them. I'm going to deselect all of the high strings. So now we only have cellos and basses. Or we can select just the three high strings. If we want to play an individual instrument, we simply hit this icon right here. And then we can play the instrument very similar in a very similar way to how we played the smart bass. You can hit more than one string at a time. And you can slide between notes because there are no frets on a stringed instrument. And those little dots down the bottom show you where the frets would be. It also kind of snaps to the nearest note when you hold your finger down. We can lock into a scale using this scale button right here, as we did with the smart bass. What I didn't mention in the smart bass is the lighter colored tiles indicate the tonic or the root note of the scale, the starting note. Eight notes in a scale. So all of those lighter colored and then ones are the starting note and then the tiles in between are the notes of the scale. I'm going to turn that off. We can change the instrument that we're playing using the smart controls here. So we can switch to cello. So that's how we can play individual instruments. I'm going to switch back to the string section on this screen. I'm going to open the smart controls to make sure that they are all selected. And you'll notice we also have an autoplay feature right here, just like the other smart instruments. And we can change, there are four different presets available for the string section. On the top left hand corner, if we hit that downward facing arrow, you'll see that we're currently on cinematic. But we have cinematic, modern, oops, pop and romantic. And these will change slightly in tone, but they also have different autoplay presets. So that's number three on pop. Let's listen to number three on romantic. Very different. Let's try cinematic strings. I'm going to try number two. See if that fits in with my song. Let's record a little bit of that by hitting the record button. I don't really like that. Let's delete that by going out to the main track, double tapping on the region and selecting delete. Let's try a different auto pattern. All 
Okay, now I'm going to go out to the track view. That sounds a bit better. I'm going to trim that region and then loop it by double clicking on it and selecting loop. I'm also going to use the track controls to bring the volume down a little bit. Let's listen to see how that now sounds in our arrangement. Fantastic. So that's the smart strings instrument. In the next video, we're going to have a look at the smart guitar.